have you ever felt like your Facebook page is a dead zone? Your Facebook business page is a dead zone? This month I'm talking about visibility and how to be more seen and it's really, really hard to do when you feel like you're working so hard on your content and maybe you're even being consistent and you're showing up, but like you're getting nothing, no comments, no likes. I want you to know it's not necessarily your fault. There's a lot going on on Facebook right now. There's a lot going on in the world right now. It's a really noisy place. I have a client in my mastermind program who her goal for visibility this month is to grow her Facebook business page by 200 followers. But what I know about Facebook right now is unless she puts some really, some other clear changes in place, it really won't matter how much she grows her Facebook business page by. So I'm going to be doing a series of ways to create more engagement on your Facebook business page that it, it will, we'll eventually be talking a little bit about ads, but let's talk about organic reach, okay? I want you to understand that there's a lot of people who have amazing followings. In fact, I just met a woman the other day. I'm gonna interview her for my podcast. I went to check her out on Facebook and she has like something like 2,700 people who follow and like her. And she offers incredible content. She has a lot of videos on there. Her titles are excellent for search engine optimization. It's really quality stuff, but her engagement was really low on her Facebook page, like one or two likes even. Her content was incredible. So I want you to know that you might have a lot of followers already. You might have a lot of content that's really good, but you're not seeing the engagement that you're looking for. So today I wanna to talk about two strategies that you can um, implement right away. And now I'm encouraging all of my clients, and I'm actually working on this overtly with my masterminders this month in November to really focus on one thing to increase visibility. Because if you're not seen, people don't know that you exist and they can't buy from you, then your business is not going to grow. So we're gonna talk about two visibility strategies, two overt things that you can do to start increasing your visibility on Facebook. And I'm gonna be short and to the point. The first thing is you may have noticed that there is a change to the newsfeed, especially on mobile. You're only seeing a smaller image, like the image used to take up the whole phone. I don't even have my phone with me. But it used to take up kind of your whole phone per post. Now it's a smaller image. And generally your audience will only see three lines of text. So the image is smaller and they're seeing less text. Have you noticed that? And if you have noticed it, fantastic. The question is, what are we gonna do about it? The first thing I want you to make sure that you do is you have a compelling visual. I, am, I, I know that a lot of people like to share memes and they like to share inspirational quotes, but you really want to share content that's going to stop somebody in their tracks, especially, especially visual content. And if you are a solopreneur, your audience wants to know who they're dealing with. So if you're hiding behind some other kind of images, and I used to do this myself, so I'm not speaking from the pulpit. I am speaking from the choir. Um, we are we are really needing to show our faces and be seen. And I know how scary that is. So that's the first thing that you want to have a compelling visual. And you want to like, even like some of my, some of my best engaged photos are like when I'm rolling my eyes or I'm making a face, like you really want to try to be yourself in your photos or whatever visual you're using, make it interesting. The second thing that you want to do about the newsfeed change, remember that's the first thing that we're talking about. Take advantage of this newsfeed change and make sure that the first three lines that people are going to see are absolutely riveting. Let, get to the point. Let them know what you're going to be talking about. Talk about the problem. Stir up the problem that your people have or paint the picture of pleasure or the outcome or the result that they're looking for. I see so many Facebook posts where the good stuff is buried on the bottom. And frankly, if you're burying it, people are generally not gonna take the time to read through a long Facebook post. If you wanna mix up your Facebook posts and you have some longer ones, take out the juiciest, best lines and play with those as other posts with a different image so that people are seeing in those first three lines something really delicious, something that they can like sink their teeth into. Can you tell I'm hungry? I'm um, talking about food. Um, but don't waste those three lines of text. That, that's how you can get people's attention with an amazing visual. And if you're not using visuals or you're using crappy visuals, it's really time to up your game with that. Now, the second thing we're gonna talk about today, the second strategy that you can put in place right now is to stop talking about yourself. And this is, this is something that once you see it, you kind of can't unsee it. 
I'm all for self-promotion. I'm all for you're amazing. Like I want you to think that you're so worthy that you can talk about yourself. But if you've noticed those posts, you've seen them, the ones where I'm so excited to be, uh, I'm so excited to be presenting at this amazing place. I'm so excited to, that I got um, awarded this honor. I'm so excited to be a guest on this podcast. Those are the posts that feel really, they can feel really hard for people to put out there. So I know how much oomph it takes to put a post like that out there. So I'm not trying to downplay that. I'm just saying you've got to change your language. Because if you notice those I'm posts, or this is what my clients are saying about me, they don't get a lot of interaction. People might nod, they might be like, good for her, good for her, but they're not interested. They just don't get a lot of traction or engagement and they don't get a lot of shares. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about a language switch and it's very hard to do until you start to flex the muscle over and over again. Shift your language from I language to you language. Now what I mean by this is, Instead of saying, I'm so excited to be a guest on this podcast, that's just not engaging. Good for you that you're excited. I mean, I don't mean to be a jerk, but, but great. Good for you that you're excited, but I'm not engaged by that. What would I be engaged by? Your job as somebody who is marketing and being visible is to think about what your audience would be engaged by. What would they care about in this post? Why should they care that you're on this podcast? It's the ultimate marketer's question. What's in it for me? You have to know the answer to that for your audience before you start a post. So one of the strategies that I work on with my clients is go ahead and write your post in the I form. Go ahead and get it all down. And then I want you to take a look at it and I want you to really think what in there is compelling to your audience. Because if you're not making something about your audience, they're gonna blow right past it. Let me give you an example. Back on uh, the day after Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, I wanted to do a post on my personal page about, you know, how I was so impressed by the work that she had done and that I was really amazed by in my short life. Um, well, I'm 50, but like in my in the time that I've been alive, how much women have gained and what, what she did to help women. And I was thinking about like, okay, well, that's great that I feel that way, that I'm just like, wow, women have come so far since 1970. But like, who gives a shit that I'm so impressed by that? So instead, I wrote the post to be all about, do you know somebody who's in their 50s? I bet you know somebody who's in their 50s. Did you know that in that, in that person's lifetime in 1974, do you know somebody who was alive in 1974? In 1974, women were not allowed to have their own credit card. And I went on and on with example after example about that, but about you, not about my life and my perspective, but about what my audience might be interested in. Do you know somebody who was alive in 1978? Did you know that in 1978, women still didn't have the right to say that they wanted uh, a certain kind of birth control? And like I went, I had researched it all and I had everything, but I really wanted to make it something my audience would be interested in. So your job when you're trying to be visible is What's going to engage your audience? I know the easy thing to do is to talk about yourself and what I think and what I'm happy about and what I'm excited about, but your audience doesn't really care about that. So you always have to answer the question, what's in it for my audience? And I promise you that is a way to start creating more and more engagement with your Facebook business page. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Facebook really wants you to pay to play. And we can talk about Facebook ads in another video and I'm happy to do that. But if you just wanna see more engagement, you have to start changing your language to grab the reader's attention with those first three lines, use an amazing image that like is stunning to them so that they get to know you or that makes them stop their scroll and use language that resonates with them, use topics that will matter to them. Ask yourself, why should they care? Why will they care? How will this make their life better? I hope this, these two examples of how to be more visible on Facebook were helpful to you. I am here for any questions. I would love to hear if you have anything to drop in the, um, in the comments. And I'm actually gonna go try to find that Facebook post, which I did on my home, my personal page, and maybe copy it here for you to link to. I have a free tool for you called seven, 
um, seven strategies to increase your visibility. And I will also drop the link to that in the, the comments here because I want you to be more visible. Once you're seen, your audience can come to know you, like you, trust you, and love you. And that's how they're gonna wanna work with you. So visibility is a non-negotiable anymore for our businesses. So I'll drop that also in the, in the comments, but I'm here for any questions. My name is Jen Liddy, in case you didn't know, I'm a business development coach and I help women put systems and strategies and messaging into place so they can grow their business, make a lot of money and have a life. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.